wait a second. Nintendo is crushing it? Their financial report is one of the most impressive reports I've ever seen for year five of a system? What? Okay, let's get into it. So last night, or I really should say early this morning, Nintendo finally did their their financial uh, meeting for the end of fiscal year of March 2021. Uh, so now we have a full year of data from Nintendo, and we have a lot to dig into. Game sales, hardware sales, projections. Uh, they did do a little uh, Q&A section. It didn't really have anything too juicy in it, although, hey, Nintendo did confirm they're working on new hardware, baby! Woo! But... Let's get into the actual financial details. A lot of numbers, a lot of stuff. Strap in because this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, so first off, their net income for the entire year, or net profit, I should say, for their entire year, was $4.4 billion. Pretty impressive. Uh, they had $916 million in net profit uh, for the fourth quarter. Which, I mean, almost a billion. That's, that's a lot. Uh, 84.6 million Nintendo Switches have now sold lifetime to date. A little bit under. I mean, well, I guess that's actually a really strong fourth quarter. I don't know why I was thinking 90 million, but maybe I'm thinking that after Monster Hunter Rise and stuff, which, anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're, we're in May right now, so the numbers are obviously a little bit higher. Uh, 3.55 million of those Switches were your normal dockable switch uh 1.18 million was switch light clearly showing that you know the og switch is what people prefer overall uh 587.12 million pieces of software were sold lifetime to date and for those wondering how nintendo's doing in the smart device realm with fire emblem um you know heroes and mario kart tour and all that well a lot lower uh only one hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars uh usd being made there so it is what it is uh, all the numbers i listed here in terms of money value were all in usd i already did all the yen conversions for you guys all right so here's game sale updates in total they had 22 games in the last year published by nintendo sell over 1 million copies which i think is actually a record for nintendo i was going back even to the ds days i don't think nintendo had 22 million in one year sell 1 million units at least so let's get into it uh i'm just going in the order it was listed in nintendo's report this is not necessarily the order of you know what's the best selling uh we will do a top 10 sales at the end of this report but let's go through all 22 million sellers in the last year so super mario maker 2 sold 1.67 million in the last year it's at 7.15 million lifetime to date Paper Mario The Origami King sold $3.12 million this last year. It came out this last year. Notably, it is now the second best-selling Paper Mario game of all time. It's about a million units behind Super Paper Mario on Wii, so there's time to see if it'll pass that. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, this is really impressive, sold $10.62 million over the last year. Think about that. That's a Wii U game. Um, yeah, it's at $35.39 million lifetime to date. Just keeps going. It's crossing 40. Might hit 50 if they if they decide not to do Mario Kart 9. Which, with these strong of sales, I mean, who knows. Uh, Breath of the Wild, by the way. 4.86 million over the last year for 22.28 million. You want to know how impressive that is for a Zelda game? Um, that would actually, like, on its own, rank it in the top 10 selling Zelda games of all time. Just in the last fiscal year. Yeah. Breath of the Wild's killing it. Just wait for Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe sold $3.84 million in the last year. It is now a $10 million seller on Switch. Its lifetime to date total is at $10.44 million. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition sold $1.52 million. Uh, it is now the second best-selling Xenoblade game to, uh, yet. It's about 500 k behind Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but it did outsell the original release back on Wii. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure, here's another big one, 7.38 million units sold over the last year. Wow. It's now a 10 million seller as well at 10.11 million lifetime to date. Super Mario Party sold 4.69 million over the last year. Remember? Oh, some people are like, why were they doing those Mario Party updates? That's why. 4.69 million over the last year. 
It is now at 14.79 million, almost 15 million. You want to know why they're still updating that game? Yeah, there's still a lot of people playing Super Mario Party. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield sold 3.73 million over the last year. Uh, that puts lifetime to date total at 21.1 million lifetime to date. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has sold 5.01 million over the last year. So now that is at 23.84 million lifetime to date. Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh, Luigi. Baby, 3.26 million over the last year. Now at 9.59 million. Clearly about to become a 10 million plus seller. Congrats to Luigi's Mansion. I'm finally glad that that franchise is getting the love that Luigi deserves. No more Luigi death stairs over here. Uh, 51 Worldwide Games. That was a brand new release this past year. So 3.14 million. You know, just a just a casual 3.14 million. Uh, Splatoon 2 is still selling 2.08 million over the last year at 12.21 million LTD. Uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe sold 2.04 million. And yeah, by 400,000 units, it is now the best selling Pikmin game of all time. Just put that in perspective. Don't know that. 2 million is really that big a deal to Nintendo, but hey, if Pikmin 4 is just kind of sitting there somewhere, it might be time to release it. All right. Uh, 3D All-Stars, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Its final sales tally total is 9.01 million. I mean, could it cross 10 million? Sure, if they didn't take it off the market. So 9.01 million, that's the final sales tally for that. And, and the reason is because these are units shipped, so it doesn't really matter you know, if there's still some on a store shelf somewhere, uh, the sales numbers for Nintendo's purposes cannot go any higher unless they bring it back. All right. Uh, moving on. Super Mario Odyssey sold another $3.73 million over the last year. Uh, it is officially a $20 million seller at $20.83 million lifetime to date. Animal Crossing New Horizons was the best-selling game over the past year. Not a surprise, though, because it came out at the end of the prior fiscal year. Uh, it sold 20.85 million units over the last year. It is at 32.63 million lifetime to date. Age of Calamity sold 3.07 million. Now, this is notable that Nintendo does not publish Age of Calamity in all territories. As an example, in Japan, where I think it sold over a million units, uh, that is published by Koei Tecmo. So Nintendo does not include data for territories where they're not publishing. Uh, Age of Calamity has factually sold at least 4 million, if not 5. Uh, we'd have to go through Koei Tecmo, uh, their financials, and try to get everything added up. But for Nintendo's purposes... For there, where the territories where they are published, such as the United States, 3.07 million. Uh, Let's go, Pikachu and Eevee sold 1.3 million over the last year, bringing that total up to 13.28 million lifetime to date. Uh, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit sold 1.27 million units, and I have heard through the grapevine that Nintendo has future um, carts coming out, so they're they're going to keep expanding it. Uh, Peach, as an example, is one such cart that is in the works for another Mario Kart Live release later. Uh, so they're not giving up on it. Uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury with only like two months of data is at 5.59 million units. That's, damn, that's really good. It's going to probably outsell the Wii U version by a lot. That's really good. Oh, and by the way, not to be forgotten, Link's Awakening with a strong last year, selling 1.11 million units, bringing lifetime to date totals up to 5.49 million. What's interesting about that 5.49 million, that means Link's Awakening has officially outsold the original Game Boy release and the DX version release. It is now the best-selling version of that game. It's technically now like the best-selling top down handheld zelda but then it's not handheld it's also on home console anyways whatever links awakening sold really really well for what it is all right here's the top 10 sellers in order from most to well least i mean these are the top 10 sellers on switch is there really a least um we got mario kart 8 deluxe at the top still at three 35 million uh 35.39 million, I guess I should say. Animal Crossing New Horizons is at number two at 32.63 million. What's interesting here is the gap in quarter three uh, to the end of fiscal year grew. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is clearly not going to be losing its crown to Animal Crossing. So anyone that thought that Animal Crossing New Horizons will pass Mario Kart, I don't actually think that's going to happen unless Mario Kart 9 comes out. 
because then obviously I presume Mario Kart 9 would kill sales of Mario Kart 8 and then it would, you know, yeah, it would be fine. Um, but I don't think Animal Crossing New Horizons at this point is going to pass Mario Kart. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is at number three uh, at 23.84 million. And at number four, Breath of the Wild, baby, 22.28. Uh, we have Pokemon Sword and Shield rounding out the top five at 21.1. Just missing out on the top five is Super Mario Odyssey at 20.83 million. Uh, we have Super Mario Party at 14.79 million. Uh, then we have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee at 13.28 million. At number nine, we have Splatoon 2 at 12.21 million. And then New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe at 10.44. That number 10 spot keeps rotating between different games. So that is the current number 10, the current top 10. Now, we have some New Year guidance along with uh, uh, some scant comparisons to other platforms, including PlayStation. Uh, so Nintendo's New Year guidance, uh, they are... Projecting out 25.5 million expected Switch sales over the next fiscal year. Notably, at the at the same time last year, they were projecting 19 million. Uh, they ended up selling 29. Uh, now they're projecting 25.5. Some investor did ask them, "Hey, why is the projection a little bit lower than what you actually sold in the last fiscal year?" And that's because Nintendo says, "Hey, we're trying to like, play coy with this. We're playing close to the vest because." We know we can make 25.5 million switches in the next year. We aren't sure what's going to happen at manufacturing that might prevent us from making more. So Nintendo's essentially saying, hey, if we can make more than 25.5 million, we will. They pretty much think they're going to sell out of every unit they make in the next year, is what Nintendo's projecting. 25.5 million, that's a massive projection for how deep into the Switch cycle we are. And you'll see how massive that projection is in a moment. Um, research and development spending has increased yet again. Nintendo initially told investors that this is just for software and outsourcing. Then, immediately after saying, oh, that's all the research and development's for, Nintendo straight up responds to a question in the QA section saying that they are investing in their next platform right now now where they want to continue their software slash hardware integration this is actually the very first time nintendo has self-admitted that they are developing a new platform now is this the pro is this next gen don't know but nintendo has said they're always making hardware but now they're specifically saying we are deep in development so yeah take that for what it is um and this is probably because nintendo has finally admitted where they are in the switch life cycle Shantura Furukawa has confirmed that as of today, they firmly believe Nintendo Switch is officially at the midway point in its life. That means they see another four years, maybe five for Switch moving forward. So, midway point, time to worry about next gen, development, things are happening at Nintendo. All right. Now, to directly compare to Sony's game division, because for, for some reason that's what people are doing, Nintendo is boasting overall net profits that are more than a third more of what Sony has posted over the last year. For what it's worth, Sony sells more expensive systems. Sony had a bunch of major releases. They also released PlayStation 5. Doesn't really matter. It is what it is. You want to know why it doesn't matter? Despite PlayStation 5 being newer, the Nintendo Switch outsold the PlayStation 5 this last fiscal quarter. Now, again, supply constraints really on both ends. So, it is what it is. Um, Switch is going to continue to outsell PlayStation 5 for a bit. We'll see how long that continues because PlayStation 5 demand is obviously massive. Um, here's a chart. This chart is comparing shipments of Wii, PlayStation 4, Nintendo DS, GBA. This is over a course of a number of years. And you can see that Switch is just playing its own game. You can see the bell curve, that massive bell curve for uh, things like Nintendo DS, uh, which is the only thing to ship more units in its in its fourth year on the market than the Switch. Uh, but Switch is still like, literally, look at it. It's just going up and up and up. Like, it, it doesn't, I don't think Switch has peaked. The only way it will have peaked is because Nintendo can't physically make enough hardware. But, um... Yeah, that is, yeah, wow. That's the end of what I got for Nintendo's financials. So what I want to know now that you know all of these numbers, took a long time to get through them all, is what are your thoughts on Nintendo's fiscal year? What are you looking forward to in the future fiscal year? 
Um, you know, the current fiscal year, what do you think are going to be the massive sellers for Nintendo this fiscal year? Again, we don't actually know much once we get past July. There is like kind of a, a, a smattering of titles we know are coming to Switch overall this summer. But from Nintendo side of things, we only know about, you know, really all the way up to Skyward Sword HD. Uh, it does appear that Nintendo is going a bit more uh, maybe family or casual focused to start the year. And typically when Nintendo does that, they end the year going after the enthusiast market. So we'll see what happens. All right, folks, I'm Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe for more content. Be sure to check out our E3 coverage coming up in June because as I keep reminding everyone, it's going to be awesome. Have a great day.